Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a weekly Wix and Wax video, and I do an emphasis on the weekly because these have not been going up weekly. I don't have any excuses. I just don't have time, but I have a table full of candles and wax that I finished up this week. So let's just dive right into it. So without further ado, let's talk some wax, shall we? non-wax item that I finished this week was bergamot and birch from Bath and Body Works, the foaming hand soap. There we go. I actually really, really like this scent. I still have a three wick in my stash. Not exactly sure when I want to burn it, but this is bergamot, black amber, and birch wood. And the blend of that bergamot, that really warm citrus with the white wood of the birch is beautiful. I love the way that they blend together. The citrus is just really masculine and warm. It was a perfect hand soap. I love the candle. I definitely would repurchase that. And sticking with Bath and Body Works, I finished three candles. I finished the PB&J ice cream. I did not haul this because I actually got this later. I was in a store and I found one and I was like, oh my gosh, yes. Uh, performance wise, typical for Bath and Body Works, once it hits the halfway mark, the flames just get really puny, but that first half was really great. Raspberry jelly, vanilla ice cream, and peanut butter sauce. Now, I really, really like the way this smelled. At first, I thought it was Wildberry Jam Donut. It's not. There's definitely that light peanut butter note. It was really, really pleasant, but I will say it was competing with another jelly donut fragrance, which we will discuss. That was heavenly. I finished two pink lavender and espressos. I was really excited for these, but they really didn't throw. The performance was the same. Like I said, once it hits halfway, then it becomes really sooty and gross and a low flame. This is rich pink leather, caramel, espresso beans, and smooth vanilla. And when you do burn it, you do smell that lavender marshmallow that Bath & Body Works used to have and occasionally comes out in candles, but it smelled just like that. I don't really get any espresso, but it was fine. It wasn't anything that I would write home about. And then as far as candles go, I finished from Joe Loves, which if you're not familiar with Joe Loves, it is Joe Malone's brand of candles. Um, not Joe Malone the brand, Joe Malone the person. Joe Malone owned Joe Malone and then she sold the company to Estee Lauder and then reopened her own brand called Joe Loves. And this is White Rose and Lemon Leaves. It was a single wick. It got sooty because I let it burn out the last burn. This is so strong. But again, I always say with luxury candles, they might be small, but they are so mighty and powerful. This is a very, very powdery white rose with the green essence of almost, when it says lemon leaves, it gives me like verbena vibes. So it's like a bright white floral rose and verbena. Really beautiful, really pleasant, really enjoy this fragrance. I would repurchase it possibly. Um, I have a sample of the body fragrance in it and it's actually really great, more so for the spring and summer season. I finished a Diptyque Fleur de Cerisier, which is cherry blossom, which was new this season. It burned all the way down to the bottom. This was really beautiful. I really enjoyed the fragrance. It was not the strongest as I would want it to. I did end up opting to put this in my bedroom for the rest of the burn, but it was really pretty. I'll reuse the jar like I always do with dip tea candles, but yep, it was enjoyable. Would I repurchase it? Probably not. And this is a quince, which I know it doesn't look like it. It looks like it says like quing, but it is, or iconic, but it is quince, which is a like jammy, fruity berry. And this was really nice. I really, really enjoyed this. It just gave this essence of sweetness in my room when I walked in. Really pleasant, really enjoyable. Would repurchase this. I finished a Capri Blue Volcano Candle. I know they made it on my Worst Candle Brands video. I don't know. I put this in a hurricane and it actually performed really, really well for me. 
I was really, really shocked at that, honestly. But the throw, there was none. None at all in my living room. I even melted a bar from Scentsy in Blue Grotto, which is an exact dupe of this, while I was burning it. And I mean, I can't tell what I smelled, but I definitely smelled more on the day that I had Blue Grotto in the warmers. So it's definitely a unscented candle. Now, as far as Kringle goes, I finished from Country Candle, Grapefruit and Rosemary. Now I did end up opting to put this in my candle crock in the laundry room for the last week of its life. When it got down to here, it was just getting pretty sooty, which is common for a multiple wick candle that has like the bevel here, the apothecary style jars. So I just threw it in my candle crock, which I'm probably gonna end up doing with this one too. This is the blue raspberry. But anyway, it was very, very nice. It reminds me, you literally cannot smell this at all. It just smells like wax, but it reminded me of another candle, not from Kringle, but I cannot think of what it was. It's definitely heavy on the grapefruit. The rosemary gave it like this green herbal note. It's not super effervescent. It's more like a rosemary and grapefruit juice. I was expecting it to be a little bit more of a cocktail, but it was really, really pleasant. And uh, I finished Mermaid Scales from the Fantasy Collection. Now, I did receive this in PR, but it is not a biased review. I did not get to film a video review of these. I love this. And look at the burn all the way down. I mean, these soy candles are literally perfection. And the notes on Mermaid Scales read citrus, orange, bergamot, green, mango, sea salt, sea kelp, floral, and amber. This was just a beautiful, fresh, fruity floral in my bedroom. I burned the entirety of the candle in my bedroom. Loved it. I love these painted shimmering jars. I think they are stunning. Love. Will repurchase this. It was amazing. Next, I finished Splash. I actually burned this. This is from the reserve line in my bathroom. And this is, they don't have the notes on this one, but it is a very aquatic men's body wash type of scent. You really can't see, but again, burn all the way down to the bottom. This is just so good. I love the citrusy notes in here mixed with the watery aquatic. It was so pleasant in my bathroom. And I have a weird thing in my bathroom. I have a stand up shower. And whenever you go into the shower, it seems like you get more of the scent that you're burning. So if I light it like 20 minutes before I go to take a shower, it's like a true spa experience when I, I take a shower. It's beautiful. Now, Easily the highlight out of everything I have burned in the last couple years. And I am not joking. I have not been as into gourmand fragrances lately as I have been um, into more florals. This candle. Jelly Donut. I know Melanie from Mr. Kong's mom loves this candle. And I was like, oh, it smells great. It's gone. I am so sad it's gone. And these are not restocked. The manufacturer that spray paints the jars black for Kringle is having difficulty with the production. Um, so these are not available right now. They pop up occasionally a few, but this jelly donut, let me tell you, I saved it from my bedroom. I burned it in my living room and it was great. In my bedroom, it was like you walked into the best donut factory or donut shop and they are filling these yeasty powder sugar donuts with that artificial strawberry, raspberry, you know, berry jam that like comes in those big bags. They snip the end off and just fill it in. I don't care that it's artificial. When I want a jelly donut candle, I want it to smell exactly like a jelly donut. This blew my mind blew the roof off. It was so strong in my bedroom. I've never had a candle perform the way that this one did. I could go on for 10 minutes about this, but easily, hands down, if you tell me, what's your favorite Kringle candle? Jelly Donut from the Reserve Line. I will buy 10 when they restock them. I am have no shame in that. It is phenomenal. It is the best gourmand bakery fragrance I have ever smelled from any candle company. Pumpkin pecan waffles can sit in the back seat. This is taking front and center stage. I'm going to make this the thumbnail of this video. 
Everything about this candle is perfection and I am saving this jar because it is so beautiful and the tiniest essence of wax that's left in the bottom, I can still get that beautiful jelly donut fragrance. Oh, I'm obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. Now we are here for the Scentsy. I had a mixed uh, round with Scentsy. The first one, High Mountain Lake. This is from the Father's Day collection. This is like cedarwood, amber, I really, really liked it on cold. On warm, I got nothing. I have one more bar that I'm gonna let sit for a little while. I find that Scentsy bars age really well compared to Vendor Wax. Vendor Wax doesn't sit at all. But for me, I just feel like I could not smell it at all in the warmers. But what I smell on cold, I really enjoy. It's like a sandalwoody, um, cedar wood, a little fruity. I, I really like it, but it did not perform for me. Vanilla Suede, I did not add this to my club, but it's really pretty. I really liked it. It just gave the room, and I hate gendering it, but a very masculine feel. Like, a very sophisticated man just left the bedroom. He's wearing a beautiful jacket, put on some cologne in the wintertime. It was stunning. It was stunning. It was beautiful. Would absolutely repurchase that. I loved it. Next is Ghostly Greetings, and I only melted this because it was so oily. It's such an old bar. You know, a lot of people give this scent hate. I don't hate it as much. It's like dark plum, bourbon, smoky wood. It's really nice. I, I don't know why people give this so much hate, but I enjoy it. It was definitely the wrong time of year to melt it, but it was so cold in my room with the air condition on. I was like, you know what? It's an oily bar. Let me just melt it. It was so strong, so powerful, lasted for days. Really, really, really enjoyed this one. Next, I finished Banana Leaf and Bamboo. I finished two of those. Let me tell you, this was nice. This was a fresh almost like you walked into a very fancy hotel type of scent, if that makes any sense. It just smelled really fresh and green. I was really impressed. The throw didn't last a very long time for me though, so I wouldn't repurchase it, but again, the air condition is blasting, so that might have been a culprit. I finished two bars of pineapple and dragon fruit from the summer collection. I'm in the minority here. I don't really care for this. It's a little too sour which I know is coming from the dragon fruit. That's just not my jam. So I did not really enjoy that one. My wish, I added this to my club. I love it. I love fig fragrances. I'm dying for Scentsy to bring Midnight Fig back and I bring back my bar. But this is like fig, marshmallow, and violet. And it is a beautiful, slightly sweet from the marshmallow, gourmand from the fig. I love it. It's a bedroom scent for me. Again, I bought a six pack and I added it to my club. I really, really like it. This one I was really surprised about, but I didn't add it to my club. Ocean Air and Coconut Water. I just keep solidifying to myself that I'm not a coconut fan, especially when it comes to summer. I just don't like summer. I don't like coconut. And this just smells like a coconut, like, um, what's the Bahama, Bahama brand of, of, uh, Scentsy, of, um, sunscreen. I don't remember what it's called. Something Bahama. But yeah, I don't know. It's just fine. It just smelled like coconut sunscreen to me. I can see why people love it. I'm just not a coconut person, so I don't enjoy it. I have this going right now, Sweet Pea and Vanilla from the Bring Back My Bar. Two bars of that in my open concept. This is one I can leave it. It smells like Sweet Pea from Bath and Body Works. It's just not a scent that I gravitate towards or crave. It's just a floral and it was okay. Mahalo Coconut, another one. I'm not a coconut fan. This was weird to me. This was a little too warm. Like the coconut milk or the coconut itself is really warm sitting out in the sun for a while. Not the biggest fan of that. And last but not least, I have going in my bedroom now, Pacific Mist from the um, scent of the month. Mm. This is so weird. Oh. I save the worst for last. I do not like this, you guys. And I feel like there's either people who love it or hate it. I love fresh scents. I love aquatic scents. I love these type of scents, but I don't love this. This is bizarre. This is like ultimate, like real heavy, like public bathroom air freshener vibes. 
I, mm -mm, it is not for me. So anyway, that is what I finished this week. I definitely wanted to make it short and sweet. Um, fall is coming. I have lots of fall hauls to share. Super excited. Again, if you want to pick up like the mermaid scales candle, I know the other reserves are not available. I have my link. I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador. Use my code DRIOC15 to save you 15%. Sensi, I'm a Sensi Independent Consultant. I will leave my link to my website down below. Feel free to shop. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and subscribe. That way you stay alert every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.